Hey, welcome to drunkenchinese.com. I'm Fulin Sukai. Today I'm gonna teach you some tips on how to sound more like a native speaker, more specifically a Taiwanese native speaker, a Taiwanese person speaking Mandarin. I lived in Taiwan eight years, so uh, a few things that I learned to, to help me sound more like a native speaker. So when I was uh, talking on the phone with people, sometimes they didn't know that I was not Taiwanese. Of course, I couldn't do that face to face because I'm a white devil. All right, so first tip. Uh, one thing I noticed a lot of people say in Taiwan is shiu, which is shi and o put together. So shi means yes. O is like an exclamation or something. So when they say shi, it's kind of like saying, oh, really? Kind of like that. It's like, yeah? And I found that that was kind of hard to put those two sounds together because it's very unnatural for uh, an English speaker to say shi. It's kind of just shi, if you say it slowly. Shi, shi. It still has to kind of be two syllables. But you got to say it so fast that it's kind of sounds it's one word. That was one of the keys. I think in any language to sound more like a native speaker, you got to learn how to put words together to make one word. Like in English, we got a lot of words like that, like gonna, I'm gonna go. Oh, another word that I heard a lot, uh, words that are put together really fast is uh, for zhe yangzi, this way. They say jiangzi, zhe yangzi, jiangzi. It's like one word. Another one is uh, na zhong, that type. They say na yong. Sometimes they say it so fast you can't even hear the, the zhe in the middle. Instead of na zhong, they say na yong. One more tip I got is uh, in Taiwan, a lot of guys, when we're in Taiwan, we're uh, meeting a lot of Taiwanese girls and speaking Chinese with Taiwanese girls because Taiwanese girls are cute. And so we start to talk like Taiwanese women, even though in Taiwan and I think in China too, men and women have different words, different ways of speaking. So if you're only talking to Taiwanese girls, you start to sound like a woman when you speak Chinese. One example is uh, the phrase, uh, what are you doing? Nigan shema and nigama. So guys would say nigan shema. Girls would say nigama or nigama la. In Taiwanese, they add a lot of la's and a's at the end. So if you're a man, say nigan shema. If you're a woman, say nigama or nigama la. For more expression at the la. There's one time I was walking through this park in Taichung and it was kind of late at night and I didn't know that this park happened to be like a gay hangout. So right when I walked in, uh, there was this Taiwanese guy came right up to me and he was like, hi, trying to talk to me and all and uh, he started grabbing my arm and like feeling my muscles and then he starts reaching for my crotch and right away, I'm like, Nigamala. And he's like, Oh, mm. he got really excited when I said Nigamala. I guess because I said it like that, he took it to mean that I was gay too. And I was approving his advances. <laughs> um, so then later, my friends told me, No, you're going to say Nigan Shama. Sound more like a man. It sounds more tough. All right. Uh, that's all I can think of for now. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, drunkchinese.com. All right. That's it.